So why is no one talking about the best part of set 10? It's not the new mechanics, it's not the new cosmetics, no, it's the music. This music brings a whole new dimension to playing TFT, where the units you play change the music you hear, and this completely transforms the way you play the game. I mean, they made original music for each origin trait, which seamlessly meld together into a beautiful melody in each of the tens if not hundreds of comps you can play. Of course, this music doesn't really impact the gameplay directly, so you could turn it off altogether. But honestly, you're missing out on so much if you do. Like this gorgeous piano melody that you hear at the beginning of each game that is just so beautiful. And honestly, I've been getting tilted at how bad I am at this set, but then I queue up another game and hear this music and all is well. But why is the music so good? What implications will set 10 bring to content creation? And can any problems arise with this new music? Before we get into that, remember to subscribe. So the music is so phenomenal in this set due to Riot pulling out all of the stops. For this set, Riot assembled 7 different composers to create unique music for 12 distinct genres. That is just such a commendable amount of effort Riot put into for just the music in this set. I am completely flawed, especially when I consider that set 10 has only been in development for 2 more months than set 9, but has many more mechanics and of course this amazing new music. I don't even understand how we go from set 9.5 to this, with only 2 months difference in dev time. Anyway, the more units you play, the more components get added to your musical composition. So, in the same way your board scales, so does your music, and as your comp grows, your music becomes even grander. Of course, this music doesn't affect the gameplay directly, but it's just so hard to resist splashing units like Lulu for Hyperpop or Jin for Maestro because the music they add is just so great. That violin in particular goes with everything and is so gorgeous to listen to. My personal favourites are Disco and Pentakill, but I'm super curious what your favourites are, so let me know. Now, something you may not clock onto is how convenient it will be to make content in set 10. This music will mean that any content that has set 10 footage in it doesn't need any accompanying music because, well, the footage already has some. This combined with the sheer number of mechanics, traits, portals, headliner effects, items and so on means that there is so much content to be made for set 10. There's even the upcoming Chonk event and the LAN tournament in Vegas. Honestly, the biggest concern is if there will be enough time to make all of that content. Now that I think about it, 4 months feels so short, especially for a set as complex and diverse as this one. And personally, I'm worried that I'll never be able to experience some of the rarer comps or music in this set. Anyway, it will be interesting to see if other TFT content creators lean towards their own personal music or the music from the game. From the streamers that I watch, both Leduc and K3 Soju listen to their personal music, but Raiditz listens to the game music. I personally also prefer the game music, but I could get sick of it after spamming a few hundred games this set. I guess we'll have to wait and see, but what would you do? Would you enable or disable the game music? Anyway, there are some problems that may crop up with this music. Like I mentioned, it is possible for you to never experience and listen to certain melodies and phenomenal tracks because you didn't play specific units in a particular way. So hopefully Riot will make a playlist of all the different tracks on Spotify or whatever. And I imagine a lot of players will probably request this once the set drops. Though I don't think you should be too worried as back near the beginning of set 9, the Korean TFT channel made playlists for the Rune Terror Reforged soundtracks which I've copied in the description if you want to check them out. But I assume at the very least the Korean channel would do this again for set 10. But of course it would be nice if the main channel did the same so more people could see and listen to the amazing music without worrying about missing out. And it is pretty easy to miss out with some of the best musical compositions being attached to the more expensive legendaries like Jin and Sona. So it does feel like a little bit of a shame if you're playing reroll or comps that don't include them. And even though the music is great, I don't think it's perfect. I feel like I've encountered some compositions that sounded a tad off, which makes me wonder whether or not Riot can and will make changes to these melodies. Are they able to make changes and potentially fixes on the go, or is this music already set in stone? So as I was making this video, Mort tweeted a small FAQ where he said that Set 10's music isn't going to go on a playlist anytime soon, and we likely won't see any changes to any music, as that isn't a great use of time. I'll link this tweet in the description, but I'm kind of disappointed that what I feared is indeed the case. And that's mostly what I wanted to talk about in this video.
I am gobsmacked by the music in this set, so I just had to make a video about it. But now, hopefully more people will discuss it. Anyway, I've been streaming my set 10 experience over on Twitch every day I managed to get through the queue. So make sure you follow if you want to catch me live. But yeah, what do you think about set 10's music? Will you keep the game music on? And what are your favourite traits? Let me know in the comments and remember to subscribe. Anyway, check out these other videos if you want to see more from me. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.